Hey everyone, welcome back to our scenes. In today's video, we are going to learn how to draw nephron step by step. So let's get started. The first thing what we are going to do is we are going to draw a depiction. Okay, so that it becomes easier for us to proceed forward. So here I am going to keep a C, a very light opposite C. So that it becomes easier. Okay, first I am just going to do a tracing part. Then a little distance from here, I am going to draw a little tiny S. Okay, and following this, I am going to draw a peel in this manner. So not too large. then this thing is going to proceed downwards as it is proceeding downwards it's going to curl up here and then as it is reaching down okay so after reaching again it's going to rise up before rising up i'm going to just draw what is going to happen over here so i'm going to get a small s over here and then a larger s and then comes the coiling and this coiling is going to again show a little okay hindrance from its part and then it's going to rush down to meet its mate okay and here comes my collecting tribute which i'll be doing on further so this is just a depiction of how my inner tubes should actually be so now let us try and complete the picture so I am just going to rub this part a little so that it becomes easier for me to draw. So I am going to draw here an opposite C. Okay, opposite C since this is all in double line. So I am going to complete this up. Inside this I am going to draw small tiny balls which represents glomerulus. Now I need to draw my arteries and veins over here which will come to later on. Then right from this part where I have left an opening, I am going to draw the double pipe. Now this is going to follow this rail. Okay, so it goes from here. What I am supposed to do is I am going to pull this up till here. So if you want you can just lighten this a little so that when you draw it shouldn't be very much visible. So I am following this S rail first. So it goes something like this and then I am going to stop a little over here okay. So why is it I will tell you from here now just a little a bending right from this part I am going to show a double lining over here and then this is going to curl up to meet this one. Then this particular trail is going to come downwards. So I am going to show it something this way. Okay, you can use a single one or double one and then both together in your wish. Okay, so I am going to use this now. If you want you can lighten this a little, the depiction. Okay, so from both the sides, the second line, as you are drawing the second line over here, take care that when you come downwards, na, this one becomes thinner. Okay, I will just draw this part again since I have not rubbed the depiction. So now we are going to proceed. Okay, so as I said, as you are coming below up, you know that this particular tube gets narrower and narrower. Okay, now as it is rising up, again it gets thicker. Okay, so I have stopped over here. I'll just finish this part first, shaping this part and then we can move on. So now here, once again, 
what we are going to do this all is in a double line so I'll just trace this pathway to actually come till here okay so here nothing much has to be done no overlapping here okay so if you want as I said you can rub this depiction a little okay so now you can see here you have got a curl so this has to go something like this and then from here you are supposed to rise up and then you are supposed to make this one okay so that was your tubular part then comes here your collecting tubule collecting tubule is as easy you know uh, like you have been drawing your trees in your kindergarten days okay so after an interval interval I'm going to keep branching and this branching has to be given uh, you know circular look so that it's tubular on the other side as well see here this is joining here so I'm going to come down okay so no, not like this part you have to reach at least to the midpoint of this to actually give a branch and see as you can see here as you're going down this collecting tubule is getting or collecting duct is getting thicker and thicker okay okay so now this is ready now what is left the artery part to draw the artery part first we are going to start from the glomerulus one so I'm going to just give it a little tug okay so that was one for the next one now let's draw the second part of your artery branch that is renal and uh, artery so here I'm going to start from here see it uh, actually see here this one this particular one starts from here it goes branching about here it runs down here and then it you know this is another opening so we are going to just draw the first depiction for this one and then we are going to move forward so how I'm going to draw this see here I'm just going to first draw the depiction as I said okay and then this I know it's going to run through this and it has to meet something over here and that one is I'll draw the for that one also the vein okay it has it is going to circle this around till it reaches this particular position and then on this side also I need to show it how it branches okay so overlapping once and then how it actually mixes out so this has to meet somewhere here okay so you are going to do that all in double line now so I'll start from this one since this part is easier so to draw that as I said I'm going to rub the depiction a little so that it becomes easier for me so starting from here I'm going to draw a thin narrow double line okay so this is the outer line there is no breaking point so I am actually continuing it as it is for the second you know the inner tube line what I am drawing okay so I will just come from this one till a certain height and then I am going to stop okay so here what I am going to do is I have to show branching here so this branching has to look something 
like this so here this my tubular but I'm going to rub a little okay and I'm going to draw this double line from here also I'm going to draw a double line because this is overlapping this particular one this one I'm going to keep as it is and it looks as if this is passing from behind of it so here again I'm going to just connect this one and then I'm going to come a little below as I'm coming down again the same thing instead of getting a triangle here I'm going to get the pointed end here and triangle over here so I'll draw okay you can just draw a rough figure over here Just keep this part darker, whatever you have missed, whatever you have rubbed while drawing the artery part. And then as I am going to go to the bottom part, here I am going to take a straight one. And I am going to attach it. Here it should look as if it is passing from behind this. So I have just rubbed it a little. And then I am just going to follow the suit and complete the tube. Okay. So it is not compulsory that you are supposed to draw the branching the similar way. Uh, you can draw the branching as you wish. Okay. But it looks it should look similar to somewhere you know nearer to this and then I'm going to start with this one now okay again here as you know you are going to draw a double line so this one I'll just draw it a little darker and then here I'm going to make it look as if a little clawed feet I'm going to follow this okay till here see here now this has to overlap okay I am just going to do this double now it is overlapping and it is going to see here I am going to show it coming out of this and right from behind this only it is going and coming and meeting this one so this lower part is done now from this part I need to show a branching right so the inner wall the inner tube part I need to break a little okay so that I can actually draw my tube now as you can see here I have marked my tube going right so how is it supposed to go that we need to decide right so here I will decide it that to be from the inner part here I want it to be on the outer side so what I will do is in this region I will rub a little so that my tube can pass it it should look that like it is overlapping okay then this is going from inner side of it now here i want it to overlap so i'll rub this little Okay, whatever you are rubbing, take care that you are actually darkening the part afterwards. Okay, and then it is passing from the inside. Okay, so now as you can see, here they are showing slight more branching over here, right? okay no need to go on following the ex exact suit what we are going to do is we are going to just curl it up a little here only you know showing the branches and you know this how 
how it is curling up we just going to show that you know simply we need not stress much on it there is actually no need to stress on the vein and artery part which normally the student do okay and it's more than enough so next we are just going to name it this is the tubular part of nephron then comes the inner one glomerulus bowman's capsule then branch of renal artery and then this lower one is branch of renal vein and then this one what you have drawn here are capillaries and the last one collecting duct now for the students who are actually very very you know weak at drawing this capillaries can be avoided for them whatever this thin lines we have drawn now you can avoid it and just draw the tubular part that should work out for you and you are supposed to get the entire marks so don't stress yourself for the capillaries you are finding it difficult but uh, if you are a scorer student prefer drawing it so that's it about this hope you have understood how to draw nephron Thank you for watching.